Like, there was no way he would ever do that. Ever. Like, we have Ava. We were engaged. Like, I've been here for so long. And then to see it in just black and white. Like, there was no, like, oh, maybe this is wrong. Like, like maybe I'm interpreting something wrong. Like, this was a full-on, I don't even know what you call it. A full-on, like, affair. It's, a full-on, like... It's betrayal. Yeah, I was so, felt so betrayed. And I think the second I went through that phone, there was no other option but to leave. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jasmine Jade, and I am so excited to finally be back in front of the camera. I am so excited to share with you guys all of the new content that I'll be having on my channel, and I'm really just excited to start this whole new journey with y'all. This actually wasn't supposed to be my first video, but I have some very exciting content for you guys today. Now today is going to get very interesting, so let's just jump right into it. Jasmine Word. looks beautiful, right? Oh, thank you. Let's just give Jasmine her flowers in the comment section, just like a whole bunch of flowers for the women. Y'all just spread them in the comment section. Fredo released a documentary called Hero to Villain. You think I'm a villain? Do I think you're a villain or do I know you're a villain? Almost did an evil laugh. <laughs> like you guys know, back in 2019, we had a very big public crazy breakup viral movie <laughs> you do not get the right to laugh this is all your fault today we're going to be watching that part of the documentary because there's some things in there that we haven't really ever touched base on or behind the scenes things that y'all have no idea about so we're gonna get into it today we've never discussed like in depth the things that happened back then on camera shit might shock y'all <laughs> shit might shock y'all i don't think we've ever had like a cool conversation either yeah. on camera you ready oh gosh i'm getting flashbacks already all right here we go <laughs> all right. hero to villain check it out pretty boy fredo you get money and you get fame and you think you're gonna treat somebody like why do i shit already want to cry with you no you don't do that motherfucking shit you're gonna sit here for any second and make me feel bad because i put my brother on blast I don't feel guilty for that shit. You want to be accounted for the shit that you fucking do. It doesn't matter who you are. You, you can't sit here and, and, and have God right in front of me and say that what is going down is okay. You can't do that. Because you know what? God is going to look at you and he's going to say that shit is fucking wrong. My brother has gotten money. He has gotten fame. And he don't know how to motherfucking act. My own blood. Tried to ruin me. This is just villain written all over it right now. You know what I'm saying? My own fucking blood. My own sister tried to turn her back on me and try to put me out. For what? <laughs> shit is crazy. Around this time, a lot of crazy shit was going on behind the scenes with me and Jess. I had completely got to the point in a relationship where I did not give a fuck i just started moving fucking reckless but the social media world had no idea about what was going on one thing led to another jasmine ended up going through my phone ended up taking text messages photos videos locations all from my phone and confining all of this information into my sister exposed everything went on her social media and blasted me as a cheater you. blasted everything that i was doing behind the scenes and this was the first time the very first time anything personal from my family was exposed online Damn. this is literally opening up so much that i think i've like suppressed that year was the worst year possible. It doesn't even feel real. Sometimes like when I'm looking back at it, I'm like, that really happened to us, you know? Feeling back in that moment of when I did decide to like look through your phone. Cause you know, you have your intuition and you like know when things aren't right. But it was like, I was like, there's no way. telling myself like there's no way Fredo would do this to me you know like there was no way he would ever do that ever like we have Ava we were engaged like I've been here for so long 
and then he did this and then to see it in just black and white like there was no like oh maybe this is wrong like, like maybe i'm interpreting something wrong like this was a full-on i don't even know what you call it a full-on like affair it's, a full-on like it's betrayal yeah i was so felt so betrayed it's betrayal and I got to a point that year where I was so weak. I was just in this house with Ava and my whole life was there. It was Fredo and Ava, that was my whole life. And I didn't know what to do. And I think the second I went through that phone, there was no other option but to leave. Why did you choose well, sending that to my sister? Because up until that point, y'all wasn't even. Yeah, your sister. <laughs> your sister never liked me. Like this is not the From time to laugh. This is not the time to, to laugh. 2019, she never liked me. She would visit us, and I think somehow I just like confided in her, and we somehow like started talking, and I was like telling her all of these things, and maybe I thought that like she could get through to you, because your sister is very like strong and outspoken at that time. I was the complete opposite. I speak up for myself. My mind wasn't clear. I just felt like the most fragile, like weak human being I like could ever be. I think it's important to note that fresh off of like having a baby yeah. and a lot of things were changing in our lives though, like really quick. Engage like engagement, baby, like everything was happening really fast. Yeah. I could see her losing herself. Like she was losing her identity because of these roles that yeah i needed to be the mom i needed to be jasmine jade or jasmine two times or whatever it was at the time you know i yeah. had and i had to be fiance so i'm trying to like please everybody and at the end i'm always going to choose to make sure my kid's good over anything else and then on your end you were just like we need to work we need to be like still making content. We need to be doing this, this, and this. Hustling. And yeah, and that wasn't my priority. Something switched in you that yeah. you were just like, I do not give a flying fuck about anything, anybody. I'm just gonna do what I want. Like- From my perspective, I got Jasmine the ring in October. October. Ava turned a year in November. We already have the house. We already have, we had everything. you know, we had everything. So in my mind, I'm thinking, I can see that you're not in a position to hustle with me. Like the big part of our identity mm -hmm. on YouTube was us. Like I was trying to figure out shit again yeah. because I lost a huge part of even my identity. Like my identity was Fredo and Jad. And then also she's on her side figuring some things out. So it kind of- Friction? Little, there is some friction. Still to this day, I don't think that warranted any of that to happen. No, I don't want to make, let me make that clear. That's, Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> there let me make that clear. no I'm not, damn reason yeah, I'm for, not, like, film a video. Yeah. After that, it should be that. From start to finish, I was wrong. Let me make that clear, and I'm sorry. And I and that's what this whole documentary was about, was taking accountability. You know, at that time, I took no accountability. No. Um, I was trying to figure out shit. In the midst of me trying to figure out shit, I'm doing crazy ass videos. Like, I'm having girls in videos, and I'm doing all this shit. Mind you, I have a whole fucking girl at home, a whole fiance at home, a whole baby at home. From her perspective, looking at me doing all these crazy videos with all these girls and shit, it's like, all right, what the fuck are you doing? Like you trying yeah. to fuck these girls? Like what? You like, look crazy. Yeah, I looked. You I looked, looked crazy. crazy. Look, looking back at it, I looked crazy. Like I was embarrassed. Yeah. No. When was it like I'm just gonna betray the fuck out of this girl and just you know? <laughs> like did you ever stop? That shit sound crazy. No, I'm saying, did you ever stop and be like? Yes. I'm gonna do this. So fuck I'm gonna. It. I'll tell you. Like I remember, we would argue all the time. Like she would, ah, you're the. Ah. And I remember just being like, damn, I'm not even doing shit. Like, I'm just trying to make content. Like, I'm just trying to film YouTube videos. Like, but I'm I not think, trying to fuck these girls or nothing. But I think it started slowly, like, just turning. Because there were and times that, where I'd be you. like, where, the, where are you? You're not home. Yeah. It's two in the morning. Like, I think you just slowly were out with your friends. And then it's maybe slowly, the girls from the videos were with slowly, you guys. It did and slowly then become it that. slowly just, like, became a bigger thing it did i feel like you dipped your toes and you're like oh okay and then you just jump right in you did toes and then ankles 
and then shins, and then I'm your knees, and then your whole, you were drowning. <laughs> you were just drowning. You are like, eh, she already yeah. is mad. Let me just die right in. Yeah. Once I did go through your phone and I found out everything, and I was like, okay, I have to leave. And like, that was that. I think it was like all bets were off at that point. And I think I had like your sister in my corner, and I felt like, okay, like I have someone that's from his side kind of on my side. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was so just like helpless. Even though that wasn't how it should have been done at all, I think that if it you weren't publicly exposed, that it was never it was never gonna end. I wanted you to hurt. That's what it was. I wanted you to hurt. Mm. And I knew that this is all that mattered. <laughs> Yep. This is, honestly, now it's coming back to me. YouTube was all that fucking mattered. We didn't matter anymore. There you go. Shit! You, you should like a bad shit! Because I didn't want to be with you! Yes! What the f***? If I want to see you, if I want to see you do better, if I want to see you do better, horrible. I hate you. I was way I hated too you. fucking gone and way too mixed up on wanting to make myself look good. Not taking accountability, not sticking by my girl's fucking side, not doing the things that you're supposed to do when you're a real fucking man. I told you this to your face. I look, look like a you demon. You look like the freaking devil incarnate. I look like a fucking or whatever demon. Is. Like. Bro, Look I Look how skinny I was. I yeah. was so depressed. Like Yeah. That looks crazy to this me. That a, looks like I'm on freaking Ozempic, but this, really I'm just depressed. This was a tough time. This was a really tough time. This even this frame right here tells a lot more to the story than we even know. Like how skinny you were. She had gotten super skinny. Literally, I think I was not even I was like 105 pounds. That's crazy. Once I had got that far into the mud, like fuck it. Like we already here, my sister exposed me. Like everybody, like You're that's like, everybody the hate. hates me. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna just feed into the hate. The hate got so bad, like, cause it was crazy to me, cause like in real life, me and Jasmine were good for a very long time, like five, six years. Yeah. Like I just put a eighty thousand dollar ring on her finger. Let me make that clear, a eighty thousand dollar Tiffany diamond fucking ring on her finger. And then two months later, you were an Let asshole. Me, I had no intentions on leaving her. At all. At all. I, did, I had no intentions. I did turn into the villain, but before that villain was a really nice guy. And I really always put my family first before anything. I really yeah, value my family. That's why when the, like, like, the always. switch, the switch yeah, happened, it was really hard for me to even accept what was happening around me and who you turned into. Yeah. Because I didn't know this Fredo. For seven years, you were the same person to me. Yeah. So I didn't understand it did how change. that could happen. Cause I was like, we never, we never, we're locked in forever. Yes. You know what I mean? It was like, always there's a, no, it was always a 4L thing. I didn't get a sorry for like probably a year. Cause I wasn't sorry. I know. It wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't, cause in at that point, head, I really wasn't fake. In your shit. head, it was like, it's like you didn't realize, like, damn, I'm wrong. Like yeah. this is fucking wrong. You just had excuse after excuse after yeah. excuse. I kept trying to justify. So you really, I don't think I heard a sorry for a very long yeah. time. Like really a didn't. genuine sorry. It was a long but time. But also you really didn't, I don't think you thought I was really gonna leave either. I don't like at the same time. Yeah, it was like yeah, hard was for weird. you to everything, even understand everything like happened, what was happening. Everything happened so fast though. Yeah. And it's like, everything was like I new. got my own apartment that same day, just FYI. I called my dad. dad. He cheated. Okay, I got you. Got my own apartment. That mm. same day. You didn't use my money? I had a I sent the ring that same Oh, you so stole my ring. I left go. I I already knew where I was selling the ring if I needed to. Like if worse came to worse. Wait, what? I had an idea of like Oh, you I mean like money. in the build up of it? Yeah, in the build in okay, the build okay, up okay. of all of this. I had looked at apartments. I was like, I'd have zero money to my name, because it was all in your bank account. So I'm like, H -h what's my plan? Like, I need some type of plan. So I did talk to someone online before about selling the ring. <laughs> so the second I looked through the phone, I packed some of me and Ava's stuff. I went straight to FedEx, down the street, sent it off. Just That's crazy. sent it off. $80,000 Tiffany ring. Sent away, just like that. I didn't hesitate, I didn't like, I just moved. So I went from there picked up money that my dad sent me, went to my best friend's house, got an apartment. 
crazy. It all happened within the same day. You know, that kind of feels like a distant, like, universe. Like It does. That's why it's I hard couldn't to even, watch I couldn't even imagine, like... like you taking Ava and like going living in some apart. Ugh, I would never let that happen. I would never, cause that's not Fredo. Yeah. Like this is me back in reality. Like I would never let that happen. I would never let life get to the point where you gotta go try to fend and do shit. Like, and that's ugh. what I did. I had to start from literal scratch. If I'd never fed into it and didn't take accountability, none of this would happen because our lives in real lives is not like that. Like yeah. this is a fucking episode of life that it's like a I'm still like shaking. A, it's like <laughs> a crazy episode that just doesn't match with this journey. You yeah. Know? It's very like out of pocket. It's just, field, so, out of pocket it's just of... so out of pocket. It's just so not like us and But I think not like obviously I was betrayed, but I think everybody watching felt betrayed too. Hell yeah. Because like, how they the loved us as yeah. a unit. Yeah. So it really was all of us against you. Yeah. Sweetest fucking girl ever, <laughs> y'all. She didn't deserve any of that shit. She really didn't. So fucking loyal to me, so loyal to the family, such an amazing mom. Man, this is, this, man, I'm about to cry my damn self. This really is a black queen right here. Like, a, a lot of you niggas will never get to experience some shit like this, and a nigga like me could have this shit right in front of them and just treat it like it's nothing, man. Embrace, cherish, Love your queen, appreciate them, value them, you know? Cause everything that you do is gonna, it's gonna hurt and it's not gonna be worth it, man. I think the only way that I was able to like move forward and like still keep like a good like relationship with you was to like kind of block it all out and suppress it. So just reliving it all is really hard. You know, I, I can say sorry a million times and it'll never be It'll never be enough, you know? Yeah, I don't think his sorry's ever register in my brain. It will never be like, enough. Like, it's still, like, it kind of, it's betrayal like Betrayal is betrayal. Yeah. This new lifetime, this new chapter is about you. Yeah. Blossoming, you know, mm -hmm. being your best self, being strong, being, yeah. you know, being there. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just smiling in my head because, like, <laughs> I, like, being able to see you grow into a woman has just been beautiful, you know? Yeah. And like, I mean, shit, just to even go through all of this shit and still kind of have you here is... You're lucky. Beyond. So... <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Y'all just know that Jasmine, man, her soul is just different. Bro. You've always said that, though. Different. Even when I didn't like you very much, you always said that. 2024. I feel like this year is gonna be so good. I'm back on YouTube. I feel like I finally know myself. Does that sound weird? That I like know who I am? Yeah. That sounds weird. I'm not just like Fredo and Jazz. Like I'm just Jasmine. Yeah. I'm so excited for independence. I'm excited to just see where like life takes me and like leave all of the craziness that's happened in the past. Nice. That's really what I'm excited about. I think my independence kind of is like the biggest umbrella and then everything kind of falls under that. You know, she's always been my number one fan. My number one, <laughs> like cheerleader, always there for me. I'm excited to do the same for her. I'm excited to be her fan. <gasps> That's so weird to think about. I'm excited Ooh, to cheer Fredo's you my on. Fan. <laughs> I'm excited to cheer her on. I'm excited to see her gain her own independence, you know? Yeah. Become Jasmine again and not just have the identity of behind Pretty Boy Fredo or Pretty Boy Fredo yeah. Baby Mama. Like, I'm tired of that. I'm, excited, I'm over that. <laughs> I'm excited to see you blossom. And like these viewers, you guys, y'all deserve to shit. If y'all hit subscribe right now, <laughs> like just follow Jasmine. Be Like if y'all don't ever fuck with me again, make sure y'all fuck with Jasmine because <laughs> she will never change. No matter how much money, no matter the fame, she's never changed. She's always remained the same. Mm -hmm. And I love you and I appreciate you. Like for Aww, real. You're <laughs> look at us. <laughs> she's an amazing mom, beautiful person Let's inside and out. And uh, shit, y'all be lucky to even just get to watch her. So. <laughs> That was the nicest thing you ever said. Oh. <laughs> that was a lot. I can't believe that was only a part of your documentary. Yeah. That was only a part of it. So y'all go check out Fredo's video and thank y'all so much for watching. Fuck my video. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Congregate in the comment section. <laughs>
<laughs> Talk that shit. Go ahead. <laughs> and I will be, I am officially back on YouTube, so. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm her cheerleader. Yep. <laughs> I say bye. Bye. <laughs>